Cây có cội Nước có nguồn Every story has a beginning that precedes an amazing journey. This is our story. After Kaduan Hung Vid Explorer Post 304 was disbanded on October 1978, three former scouts of that troop, Gung Tuan Quỳnh, Phan Linh Nga, Nguyễn Văn Phu, and two friends, Jen Thị Phụng Chi and Phan Ngọc Hải, discussed ways to start a new troop. On February 3rd, 1979, the five high school students decided to start a new troop after a long meeting at a library in Santa Ana. Miss Fu Ji chose the name Ji Lang for its famous historical location and significance in Vietnam's history. Trưởng Đỗ Hữu Tâm and Trưởng Lê Minh Lý, both trưởng of Hu Viet Explorer Post 304, served as the founding advisors of Ka Doan Ji Lang. On May 20th, 1979, Trưởng Nga Trưởng Phú, Trưởng Quỳnh, Trưởng Tâm, and Trưởng Lý scraped together enough money to buy materials to make the first Jilang flag at Trưởng Lý's brother and sister's townhouse in Santa Ana. They hoisted the green flag of Khadon Jilang at its very first meeting on June 6, 1979 at Miles Square Park. Soon after, Trưởng Tâm and Trưởng Lý, being over 21 years old at that time, officially registered Khaduan Jilang with BSA as Explorer Post 279. In 1980, two boys patrols, Tuan Dong Da and Tuan Hoa Lu, were formed. A year later, Jilang grew by adding Tuan Tay Do. The first female patrol, Tuan Ne Ling, was created in 1981. By 1983, Jilang grew to include Jiang Duan, Khaduan, and Tang Duan thus becoming Lian Duan Jilang, a multi-level scout group. Seeing a need in the community, Jung Le Thie Phuong served officially as the first scoutmaster in Thiu Duan Jilang, a Boy Scout Troop 279, serving boys 10 to 14 years of age in 1985. One of the original Thiu Sing Nguyen Chung is currently a Jung with Jilang Foundation. Five years later, in 1990, Jung Jung Thị Jia Mi served as the first cadet Girl Scout leader for Thiu Nu Troop 1279. The first decade of Lian Luan Jilang saw tremendous growth in numbers because our roots are anchored in Hung Dao, Vietnam. The thread that joins us together is our love for humanity, family, and friends that are written in the songs that we sing, the oaths that we take, and the friendships that we make. At our core, Jilang is really about friendship. Tình nghĩa anh em. To Jilang members, Hung Dao wasn't just another activity, but a way of life, a fabric woven deep in our souls. It was this belief that kept Jilang going through the early 1990s, as most leaders had other life commitments and the number of scouts shrunk. Jung Nguyễn Duy Jung Sun, Jung Đỗ Anh Vọng, Jung Trần Minh Nguyệt, and Jung Trần Minh Hằng, along with many others, kept this flame going, navigating Ji Lang through this drought while seeing other Lian Luan stopped their activities altogether. Soon, Lian Luan Ji Lang weathered the drought and grew in size and numbers. A need to have a Jung to connect all Luan together with parents resulted in the creation of Lian Luan Jung and Lian Luan Pho. Jung Le Ming Li served as the first ever Lian Luan Jung with Jung Nguyen Van Phu and Jung Li Nhat Hui serving as Lian Luan Pho. In 1996, Lian Luan Chi Lang expanded to form O Duan Chi Lang. Jung Nguyen Thuy Vu served as the first Aquila of O Duan. In the summer of 1997, Jung Li Nhat Hui left Lian Luan Ji Lang to form Lian Luan Han Lu and then Lian Luan Ji Lin where he remained. While it was difficult, Ji Lang leaders did not waver. They adhered to the missions, core values, and scouting principles to guide them through this tough period. In the early 2000s, 
chữ Đỗ Thiên Hương and chữ Phạm Đình Nga returned to Geelong to build up Âu Đoàn. At the end of 2004, Chữ Hương and Chữ Nga left to form Liên Đoàn Hương Việt on January 2005 due to philosophical rifts. While that void was painful since Chữ Nga was one of the founders, it gave opportunities to the scouting community to have Liên Đoàn Hương Việt as one of the strongest Liên Đoàn serving Southern Orange County. Throughout the 2000s, Geelang continued to grow under Chữ Vọng, Chữ Phu, and Chữ Lý as Liên Đoàn Chữ. Chưởng Phùng Quang Tuyên returned back to Geelang in 2010 with his family. Chưởng Tuyên brought back old values and new ideas, welcoming parents to join the leadership corps. Changes are always tough, but it was necessary to infuse more help and ideas to Geelang. That caused another philosophical rift when Chưởng Vọng left in 2015 to start Lian Duan Ngo Quyên. With the untimely death of Chiu Tuyen on September 3, 2015, the Jilang family went through probably the most painful period of our history. Chiu Tuyen reminded us that Jilang doesn't belong to one person or entity. Jilang belongs to each and every one of us. Lian Duan Jilang's journey towards 40 years has been enriched by the lasting memories, laughters, and lifelong friendships that were forged along the way with our fellow scouting brothers and sisters. But when we no longer share the same values, principles, and missions, it is difficult to continue the same path, especially when we no longer speak as one voice. On October 14, 2018, exactly 40 years after Kaduan Hu Viet Explorer Post 304 was disbanded, Lian Duan Ji Lang took a new path. The rift was too wide to mend as the division came within the top leadership core. Jiu Li, along with the Lian Duan Jiu, two Lian Duan Fa, and 42 families moved to Lian Duan Jilang Foundation, chartering BSA Pack, Troop, Crew, and Girl Scouts Troop 2279 in order to continue the Jilang journey. Gai Ga Go Nước Ga Nguồn Jilang's roots serve as a strong foundation that anchors our values, missions, and principles. With nourishment, love, and care, Lindan Jilang Foundation will grow and new branches will form along the way. As we march ahead in our journey, we should never forget our humble beginning that began with just five high school students and two college students. Yeah.